Hello, my fellow audience. My name's Tyler, and this Steam Puff is about convection. Have you ever seen those small pinwheel thingies going in the wind? Well, today we're going to do the same thing, but with fire. To start, we're going to need some foil, a sharpie, something to trace a circle with, some sticky tack, although you could use Play-Doh or any type of putty, an unsharpened pencil with an eraser on one end, a pan or tray, four candles, a push pen, a lighter, and a pair of scissors. Remember, this experiment involves scissors and an open flame, so just make sure you have an adult with you at all times. Now let's get started. Grab your foil and the thing you're going to use to make a circle. Use the sharpie to trace a perfect circle onto the foil and then use the scissors to cut along the lines. Then fold your foil circle in half, unfold it, and then fold it again. This will help you find the center of the circle later on in the experiment. Now cut six lines all around the circle. Once you've done that, fold in one side like this. Grab the pencil and the push pin and put the push pin through the exact center of the circle with the folds facing down and in to the eraser on the top of the pencil. Then get your tray and sticky putty. Put the sticky putty in the center of the tray and put the pencil into the sticky putty so that it's sticking up. Once you've done that, place the four candles around the pencil and light each one. Now you may have to wait a second, but if you've done everything correctly, the foil on top of the pencil should start spinning. There you go. You've just made your first convection pinwheel. So I told you this is happening because of convection, but what is convection? What's really going on here? Why is the wheel spinning? Well, Let's find out. Let's pretend I light a candle in a room. As this candle is lit, it heats up the air around it. The coolest part is that warm air is actually lighter than cold air, so the warm air rises up and the cold air, which is heavier, sinks down. This cold air sinks down to the candle and the warm air around the candle, so what happens is this cold air is then warmed back up by the candle and then rises again, creating an endless cycle of warm and cold air. If we look closely at our experiment, we see that this same movement of cold and hot air, or what we call convection currents, is what's responsible for the spinning of our fan. As the warm air rises up above, it pushes against the bottom of the fan, and the cold air pushes the top of the fan as it sinks to the candle. The two of them work together to create an endless cycle in which the fan continues to spin. Thank you so much for watching this Steam Puff, and I really hope you enjoyed it. If you're looking for any more fun ways to go further with convection, try typing Ice Cube Convection Experiment into Google and seeing what comes up. There's this really cool experiment where you can actually see the convection currents. All you need is a little bit of food coloring and an ice cube. Thank you, stay safe, and have fun.